crazy look, but I mean, we won the game on a freaking walk-on. Okay, a walk-on. Um, I think talk, that should be illegal. It's for the grabs. The grabs is what grab the game. It's not, not, the, not the guy in Kentucky. So, um, we just get mesmerized that freshmen should be able to come in, you know. And was I disappointed in Gary? No. Was I surprised? Yeah. Because I didn't think he... He'd have that look, but was I impressed that he came back to seven and a half and made a couple of big shots? Was I impressed that his half court defense on the guy was phenomenal? Was I impressed that he wanted the ball at the end of the game and Valentine took a tough shot? Those things impressed me too. And uh, so uh, I like, I, I'm going to like this team if, if we lose. 15 more games if we keep practicing like we're practicing because we're going to get that. But uh, are we quite ready to be what we want? Uh, we just don't have enough experience back right now. And the one guy that has a lot of experience besides Apple um, is BJ, and he's been out seven months. So even though he looked really good the first half, the second half, he showed that he was not in the shape he needs to be. Speaking of Dustin, in that first thing, it looked like you sort of flipped the switch after maybe four or five minutes, and you know, five steals, he's diving after the loose ball, he's playing a lot more aggressive. I guess, what do you attribute that to, and how do you get to, to where that's all the time? Well, I must talk to him more than any person I've ever talked to, other than Paul Davis, about having a motor. You know, having a motor, and he's kind of been a Corvette without an engine, if you ask me, um, and still a pretty good player. And I told him if he ever gets that engine going, um, then he's going to turn into everything he should be. But there are players that don't get the engine going. It was great in the first game after seven months off and all the things he went through that he not only did that, but he might have the highest energy level in huddles and halftime and things like that. And it, what was more interesting to see than that from my standpoint is that the players saw it. You know, I think Alex Donna told him he's never seen him half that animated and half that aggressive. And uh, that's a pretty good statement from a kid that I thought the last 10 or 12 games last year played very good for us. So I think players saw it. I think BJ saw it. I think BJ understands it. I think he's got a great habits that are year after year and realize that just being a talent is not enough, but being a talent with a motor can get you to a lot of places. I, I was, you know, really pleasing the second half. I didn't played nearly as good the first half. I thought he tired some, but I thought, you know, we had a plan. He played 34 minutes. I had NBA people call me and say it was unbelievable that the guy could go 34 minutes. I mean, they're giving, uh, what's his name from uh, the uh, Vikings credit for coming back from a serious knee injury and doing what he did. I mean, Dawson hasn't even blinked an eyelash off that injury. He hasn't Stepped out of a practice for a second. He's uh, 